gliders, gliders, gliders. Mourning a loss and fearing for their safety at the same time. Westchester County social workers are attending a vigil tonight after one of their own was beaten to death on the job. Tony Aiello first brought you this story last month, and he joins us now live from that vigil in White Plains tonight. Tony? Christine, social service caseworker Maria Cotto loved to dance and she loved the color pink, which is why so many of her colleagues here tonight are dressed in pink to honor her. Cotto died June 19th, weeks after she was beaten by a man after she mistakenly knocked on his door while trying to visit a DSS client's home. Tonight's memorial is focused on how she lived serving those in need. We don't want to think about what happened to Maria. We want to focus on the Maria that her friends knew, her colleagues knew, as well as her CSCA family knew. Colleagues say Maria Cotto had a big heart and deep devotion to her career as a social worker. Her death at age 56, a devastating shock to everyone at the Department of Social Services. That is the Peekskill Police Department right over there. And this is where it happened. The criminal complaint details a horrific crime. Social worker Maria Cotto, punched and repeatedly kicked by a man wearing heavy boots, allegedly attacked May 14th after mistakenly knocking on his door. Before Cotto died on June 19th, 31-year-old Haseem Jenkins was charged with attempted murder. Haseem Jenkins, give me an idea on Haseem Jenkins, man. You already know it's the sun, man. <laughs> You think so? Shit, with a name like that? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> he could be an Arab, Haseem, man. Jenkins, though? <laughs> Jenkins, all right, man. I'll give it to you, man. You know, baby, you baby, know baby, damn baby. well the son, man. Didn't you send me something yesterday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sent. Yeah, I put. I put it in the uh in the back chat. You want me to send it to you again? Put it in the back chat again. Yeah. All right, got you. Murder and assault. A grand jury is expected to reindict on murder charges soon. We hope that Maria gets justice for what has happened to her. Yes. Social workers say they never know what to expect when they visit homes in the field. Since the attack, more are going out in pairs, and emergency funding is providing additional security escorts for those who request them. We will continue to make sure that we work in conjunction with the county to provide the safety and health um, well-being for all, all of our members. Make sure you support the channel. Take the $5 challenge via PayPal, Cash App, or the Super Chat. Hit the like button. Support the channel, man. We It's all we can do here, man. Um, it's all we can do, man, to um, get the message out, man. Wow. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. Good evening. A short stop to buy milk last night, turning into a harrowing ordeal for a Park Ridge family of four who stopped at a busy 7-Eleven store on Higgins near the Kennedy Expressway. Two of the occupants in the front seat got out and went into the store. Tom Godomsky with Park Ridge Police says this is the suspect they're looking for. Surveillance cameras captured. Oh, that's a old, that's a old contactor, man. You too old for this shit, man. The hell? During his image, 1030 last night, the suspect pulling a gun and robbing a terrified motorist, detectives say, who stopped for milk at this Park Ridge 7-Eleven on 814 Higgins Road. The two in the car were approached by this offender who walked up and pointed a handgun uh, at them while they're in the back seat and ordered them to exit the car. The armed robber leaving his victims behind, carjacking their white 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokee 
quickly disappearing on the nearby Kennedy Expressway. Within 30 minutes, uh, the car was located by state police uh, in Chicago, uh, I believe off of Halstead. Uh, it crashed, the state police were setting up a perimeter looking up, but they were unable to find the offender. We've seen him walk past a few times. Park Ridge. So he, so he crashed their car within 30 minutes. <laughs> Insanity, man. Pure insanity. <laughs> I'm not even trying to be funny. Some form of slavery, like a light slavery. Would that help this? Not like slavery like back in 1800, but like a, a, a mini slavery. <laughs> uh you know, like a a trial, uh, like a, the free trial version of slavery. Would that help this man? People need relief, man. Son just called, son just terrorizing people, man. This is this is un, this is unacceptable, man. Old ass man just robbing some woman and taking her car and crashing it, and, and then just drifting off into the night victims behind carjacking their white 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokee quickly disappearing on the nearby Kennedy Expressway. Within 30 minutes, uh, the car was located by state police uh, in Chicago, uh, I believe off of Halstead. Uh, it crashed. The state police were setting up a perimeter looking up, but they were unable to find the offender. We've seen him walk past a few times. Park Ridge merchants say they've seen the suspect before, seeming to loiter around the convenience store property, wearing the same aqua blue ball cap, dark blue shirt, and faded blue jeans. Ubaida Cater says he's grateful to see increased police patrols and heightened awareness. Park Ridge has been making a really good effort of like keeping in touch with the owners and like taking care of the situation. They've been very like interactive with us. Cater, who says he has a license to carry a gun, scaring away would-be burglars trying to break into his store, he says, quickly fleeing before police could arrive. Two dudes in a ski mask, and then there's two guys in the car. And then I called the cops after they left, and then Park Ridge got the camera footage from uh, 7-Eleven next door. There was no plates, and they just hopped right on the highway. That's what they usually do. If you recognize last night's carjacking suspect, you're asked to call detectives. Log on to our website for a link. At the Park Ridge Police Department, Julian Cruz, WGN News. Wow. Is it even worth it? Is, is it even worth it, man, to have a business if that you got to do all that? Hell no. It's like you got to have a whole damn security squad. Not just one, but several. Jeez, man. Sons are like... And now you got these Venezuelans over here, man. I got to run up and do something.